Now I'm going to teach quick chana masala. Generally, North Indian side dishes, uh, we be using lots of oil. Those who are having heart problem, those who are diabetic, for all of them, they need to reduce the oil content. So this uh, the recipe will be very much useful for those who want to reduce their weight and those who are having certain ailments uh, who want to reduce their fat content in the diet. And at the same time, it will be very tasty. Don't think that it will not be tasty. You just follow the recipe, then you will feel the difference. Quick chana masala. Whole Bengal gram. And finally, cut onions, half cup. Cut tomatoes. And little tomato puree, 5 or 6 flakes of garlic and half an inch piece of ginger, salt 1 teaspoon, tamarind paste little, dhania powder 2 teaspoons, jeera powder 1 teaspoon, garam masala powder half teaspoon, amchur that is dry mango powder 1 teaspoon, red chilli powder 1 teaspoon. This is whole Bengal gram uh, that is white channa what we call it as. This has to be soaked overnight. After soaking, you have to put it in this. Add just enough water and then pressure cook for 6 or 7 whistles. So now I have already pressure cooked. See how it has become very soft. At this stage, add finely cut onions, finely cut tomatoes, little tomato puree, enough salt and here ginger garlic grated like this and you can put very fine pieces of this. Otherwise, you can use ginger garlic paste also. Now, this you have to cut it into very fine pieces. Garlic also you can do like this. Dhania powder. One or two, two teaspoons. This is cumin seed powder. And half the quantity of dhania. This is garam masala powder. Uh, this is dry mango powder which is called as omchur. Now, I am adding little tamarind paste also. If you want, you can increase armchur and reduce the tamarind paste. Add chilli powder. Now once again when you pressure cook it, everything gets cooked and without even a teaspoon of oil, you get wonderfully cooked chana masala. Pressure cook again for 2-3 whistles. See, whenever uh, we are using pressure cooker, we have to check whether the pressure has subsided. Just lift the uh, weight, then you see the pressure has subsided, then you have to take it. Open the lid and be careful. Now it has cooked properly, but only thing, water is separating. So for that, I have a small idea. Take little bit of this chana itself in a bowl. Mash it. Ah. Use a masher and mash lightly and then put it back. Now boil once again. No need to add any flour like corn flour or any other thing. Just boil it for few more minutes. Now switch off the stove. It's ready to serve. Garnish it with coriander leaves, chopped coriander leaves. And generally it's served with finely cut onion and a lime as accompaniment. This is very much suitable for puri or bhatura and uh, even the toasted bread, bread chana, it goes very well. Quick chana masala is ready. Without even a teaspoon of oil, I have prepared the masala, which is actually very tasty. You can try it in your house.